someone destroyed all our ships. What is that? Walter Bloody Fitzroy, kill leader at your service. Hey everyone, Thornton Smash and Lagatha here, and yes, she is getting really, really big, but you know what else is getting big in Apex Legends right now? Recolors, and especially heirloom recolors as we are getting a lot more of them in the near future. So today we're going to be talking about that and what you can expect next. We're also going to be about 45 bucks. All you got to do is like, comment, subscribe, you guys know the drill, but without further ado, Let's talk about these recolors. The number one thing that always seems to interest the Apex Legends community is heirlooms. When are we getting them? Who is getting them? And what can we look forward to in the future? And this season finally showed us that Respawn does intend to do heirloom recolors and they are going to be doing them going forward in the future. Of course, we saw the new Wraith heirloom that came with brand new animations along with it getting colored a little bit orange. And overall, it was an overhaul to the original one when it was added in the beginning of the game, which a lot of fans could argue really needed to happen. The reason that actually makes this somewhat okay and I think is justifiable is the fact that they did add in free animations for anyone who had the heirloom previously. I still don't think any heirloom should be $160. That's just my personal opinion. But it is nice for the OG fans to still get something even if they didn't have enough money to get the recolor. And it is staying in the store. So if you ever want to get it in the future or you're just a huge Wraith fan, you do have that ability. But make no mistake that these things are going to be staying around for quite a while. Everyone remembers the reactive Peacekeeper skin that came in season 15 and the amazing blowback that Respawn got for it. And so they made the announcement that they will no longer have recolors of Battle Pass skins via a collection event reward. Still think we're gonna see some of them in sore bundles, but they're definitely not gonna make it $160 because frankly, it's just not really worth it. Well, the question then becomes, well, what heirloom recolors are we gonna get next and what kind of stuff can we expect? When you look at the original heirloom release order, it went Wraith, Bloodhound, Lifeline, Pathfinder, Octane, Mirage, Cossack, and Gibraltar. And I would be very surprised if they actually deviated away from this at all for a couple of big reasons. One, the new heirlooms don't need animations at all, such as Valkyrie, Seer, and even Crypto have pretty unique animations and are much better than the ones that originally came came out such as Bloodhound, Lifeline, and Pathfinder. I've actually heard rumors of Mirage's recolored heirloom actually being bumped up a little bit, but we'll have to wait and see if that actually happens. But that would make sense as well, because well, it's a little lackluster. And I think this is huge for the fans that actually have the heirloom. I don't really care for the recolored variants, but getting some upgraded free animations for Pathfinders is a pretty nice gift that you don't have to pay anything for. And I think that does need to be acknowledged a little bit on Respawn's end. I will say the reason this is probably all happening is that EA stock has been dropping through the roof. You can read about it pretty much anywhere at this point. And so it makes sense. This is why we're seeing prestige skins, battle pass recolors, and heirloom recolors in general being pushed alongside the normal heirlooms. The other reason that they're most likely going to stick with the original legends is, well, they just had more time to cook on it. When you look at the prestige skins, you've only got Bloodhound, Wraith, and Bangalore. Once again, three original legends. Bloodhound is the main rumor right now with leaks surrounding it that it is going to be the next heirloom recolor, and it will go nice with his prestige skin because that one was also lackluster. It also majorly is impacted by pick rates. Respawn does love to pair heirlooms with legends that have a high pick rate because they're more likely to sell more. Example one would be the fact that Wraith has three different types of heirlooms in the game now and well coincidentally she's the number one most picked legend. If you look at the next top five picked legends they're all original legends. The question is is the animation going to hold up or are they going to continue being great? Sean Wilson who was one of the original animators for the respawn team who worked on both Titanfall and Apex has left the studio. And as you can see from this reel here he created some absolutely mind-blowing stuff and even worked on some of the heirlooms such as Valkyrie which has some of the best animations in the game. Luckily we still have Moy Para on the team who did work on the Wraith heirloom recolor and does have some fantastic animation so as long as he's still at the studio i do have high hopes that the free animations that get added in will be pretty great for the general audience one thing that i do wish that respawn does take note in the future is like this slider that crow rindo made allow players to actually choose the customization of the heirloom recolor it's highly unlikely they're going to release another heirloom recolor for wraith if they do i swear to god but in the case that they aren't which is most likely the case allow us to customize and pick the colors it's a very easy system to implement and would make a lot of players very very happy Personally, I just don't care for the recolored look, but if I had more customization, I'd probably be more inclined to get this. Okay, now we brought in Ragnar. Let me know down below what you guys think of heirloom recolors. Do you like them in the future? Are they better than prestige skins, or do you just prefer the originals? And until next time, Legends, keep slaying the Outlands, and we'll see you out there.